4D Boo from Monsters Inc. Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a 4D little boo from Monsters Inc. So it's got the little costume that she's wearing and then you can push it up or pull it up and then it's got little Boo's face. So I hope you guys like this one. This is the first of my two little mini series for Monsters Inc. Tomorrow I'll upload the other Monsters Inc. design which is going to be Boo's door. So I hope you guys like these as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I'm going to start this nail with a little background layer of a really pretty pastel pink. Just going over that, just something kind of simple, and her door has lots of pink on it, so I figured that would be an appropriate color for her background too. And then I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is nice and strong and all of that jazz. Get that, go over that, make sure that, because the clear acrylic, the color acrylics, all of that pigment that's in them is actually interfering with the interlocking of the polymers and the strength. So if you don't have that layer of clear, it's not going to be quite as strong. It's a bit compromised. File that into shape with your e-file. I started with a coarse bit to remove any bulk and then went over it with a finer grit bit so that it is nice and smooth. This is basically like buffing it. You can always just use a buffer block too, depending on, you know, what you prefer. Then I'm going to roll an oval with a little bit of clay or poster putty or whatever you have that you can make an oval with. Wrap that with some plastic wrap really, really tightly, as tight and smooth as you can. And then I pinched underneath it with a pinching tool, which is actually a really great way of holding your plastic wrap in place while you're working on top of it. Then I'm going to take some medium purple acrylic and I'm going to start sculpting Boo's little disguise. So I'm going to do the bottom part of her costume just around I'd say about two-thirds of my oval you do have to make sure that you leave a little bit at the top some space at the top to sculpt to the top the little hat part of her costume and I don't know you saw a glimpse of it a moment ago but on the very bottom of the costume I left a little u-shape a little gap that's going to be for the wire to go through so if you want to make sure you leave that in place that's kind of a good idea if you don't leave it in place you can always zip that little bit in with an e-file and a tiny bit to get that little crevice in place then, like I said, flip that around on the top of your oval. You're going to want to sculpt her hat. I guess on the actual blue costume, it's more like a hood that goes over her head. But for this purpose, we're going to just call it a hat because that's a little bit easier. Just add that over the top. After you're all done with this, all, all done with the purple, you're going to take some nude color or like a peach and sculpt the little squiggly ropey hair that's on top of her costume. So just go through, kind of lay down that peachy color. And then with the tip of your brush, once it starts to set up a little bit and hold its shape, you can take and just sort of carve in those little squiggle lines to give it some texture. Just like so. If you don't want to use the tip of your brush, you could also use like a pointed silicone tool or a toothpick or something to get those little lines in there. Once it is set, you can pop those pieces off of your little plastic wrap. The bottom piece might be a little harder to get off just because it's covering more of the space, but it shouldn't be too bad. Then I'm going to set that bottom piece of the costume down onto my nail form backing. And then with the same nude color I used for the hair, but it wouldn't have to be. If you have a couple different colors, you can use that works too. Um, but I'm going to sculpt the little tentacles of the costume. And I just had the costume sitting there so that I would know about what size to make them. You want, you're want you not necessarily attaching them right now. That was just a reference point. So those are the two arm tentacles, and then you have to add the little feet. This is place a couple beads down, and those are basically sculpted just into triangle shapes. Sculpt those like so. I haven't actually watched Monsters, Inc. in quite a while. It's been a couple years, but... The little boo costume, when I was thinking of something for Melody last year for Halloween, I was like, oh, she'd make such a cute boo. And then I was thinking, ah, maybe not, maybe next year. So I don't know, that might be her costume next year. That being said, I have like 60 Halloween ideas for her, so there's just so many. But when I was thinking about that for Halloween, I was like, oh, she'd make a cute, like, cute little nail design. Boo would make a cute nail design, so that's where this came from anyways going back to the design after you have your little tentacles set up they can be popped off the nail form backing and then you can glue them onto the costume you don't necessarily want to glue them all the way to the very edges of the costume like all the way down to the bottom you know stick them up a little bit so they look like they're more forward facing and you also don't want to your little gap in the bottom of it you don't want to fill that in with the legs make sure those are off to the side enough that they won't interfere with the wire that comes through the nail so just glue all those in place and this nail glue is just a temporary hold you'll see in a moment that I did secure them with some more of the color acrylic so if you have a little bit like as you can see my legs don't meet up flush against the body it's okay because you're gonna fill in all those gaps right now with a little bit more of that nude or beige color acrylic just like so then they look a lot more like they're part of the costume not like something that was 
just added later, even though they were. Then I'm going to grab a bit more of my purple acrylic and set that down right across like the chest panel of this little costume. And after you have that down, you're going to wait for it to set up just enough that it will hold its shape. And then take the tip of your brush and you're going to just add little lines going across it, kind of serpent-like. And I'm going to glue that body piece onto my nail with some nail glue, just like that. Hold that in place until the glue grabs it. And then I'm going to use some more purple acrylic to secure the little body piece onto the nail. That will also, just like with the tentacles, make it a lot more flush against the nail as well as adding a bit more security. It doesn't usually take too much just to fill in all of those little gaps. And then with a lavender color paint, I'm going to add just some polka dots across the front of my costume to give it some little bit of a highlight and plus it seems like the costume has kind of a scaled texture to it so that definitely helps with that. I'm going to wash over my tentacles with some diluted white paint to give them just because the color wasn't quite right so I decided I would fix that make it a little bit paler with that and then with brown and some polka dots on the tentacles for the little suction cups just like so and then I'm going to be applying just a couple little black, not applying, but painting a couple little black lines kind of around the costume and then around the tentacles and in those little crevices on the front. And then apply a layer of gel sealer over the background to make sure it is nice and shiny. Cure that and apply some gel sealer over your costume. And then going back to the other piece of this nail, I'm going to be sculpting Boo's head. So the same thing, kind of like how I had the costume sitting next to it when I was sculpting the tentacles. I have the little head of the costume next to it, next to where I'm sculpting Boo's head so that I know that the proportions are right. And I've got just the same little circle of nude color acrylic for her head at her neck. After the neck is down, I'm going to add just a little bit of her hair with black. So Boo does have those classic little pigtails. However, you don't really see those because her head is in the hat. So you don't have to actually sculpt the pigtails. In fact, if you do, you probably will have to make her head so much smaller so that it fits inside the hat that you waste a lot of detail opportunity because you're losing some size. So if you do it this way, without the pigtails and the hat fits over it, you never know and it's perfectly fine. So add her hair with the black, like I said, and then I'm going to be adding her little top of her little nightgown with some coral color. Put that up. You don't have to do too much detail on her nightgown, just basically add it because you'll only see the shoulders anyway. Then on two little pieces of wire on the ends, add a little white circle of acrylic. Those are going to be for the eyeballs of her costume. With some clear acrylic, I'm going to be attaching those little eyeball circles, my little wire eyeball circles, to that clear. I bent the wire so that they had a bit of an elbow shape, and then I'm going to glue the hat part of my costume on top of that piece, just like that. And then fill in underneath that with clear acrylic to make the whole thing nice and strong, but that bit of glue just kind of helped get it in place to start with. Glue a piece of wire to the back of it, a thicker wire than you did for the eyeballs. Wash over that hair on top of the head with some green just to change the color up a little bit. Add some purple eyelids around the eyes on top of the costume. Some little black outlines on there, some pupils. Just like that. Make the eyeballs look nice and googly. You could, in fact, if you had small enough ones, you could use little googly eyes too. That, that was an idea, but I didn't have any that were quite small enough to use for it. And then I'm going to be doing some brown little lines to define the hair on top of the head. A couple little black outlines around the bottom really make things stand out better. And then you need to paint Boo's face. So I started out with some brown just to add some outlines around her neck. And a couple little details on her face. If you start out with brown, it makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to go straight to black, which is a bit harder to uh, fix if you make a tiny little mistake. Paint her eyes. One thing with this that I was looking at it later and like, you know what? I should have made her eyes bigger. Boo has these giant, beautiful eyes and mine were a bit more human in proportion. They're still exaggerated cartoon, but Boo's eyes are very, very big and that really kind of draws you in and is part of her charm. And mine weren't quite big enough. At least I don't think so. So if you guys do recreate this, make sure you give her those big, beautiful eyes. Add her eyebrows, nice little smile on her face, her pupils, and after you're all done, apply some gel sealer over the eyeballs and some matte top coat over the rest of it. Stick that through the nail, glue a bead to the end of your thicker piece of wire so that it can't come out. And that is it. Stay tuned tomorrow. Like I said, I will be uploading the other video. That's for Boo's door. I absolutely love these two and it's making me want to watch Monsters Inc. again because like I said, it's been a little while. I hope you guys like these as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video.
Bye.